threw it away. Money! What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Mr. Anderson. Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... J uh, what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Good on you, Jack. We gotta get you back to work. February 6th, 1922. Night. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. It appears that the First National Grocery in Innsmouth was recently burgled and its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I've been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue. A friend of the family, Mr. Anderson, gave him the job as a favor. Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are things that just don't add up. Not to Anderson, not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force entry into the store when he had a full set of keys? free access to the register, and the combination to the safe. To misdirect the investigation? If that was his plan, why did he disappear? For my com following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome there, and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest family. They're of mixed blood, so the stories go. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Usual hick town prejudice, no doubt. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came away distrustful of the local authorities. He isn't buying their line about Burnham robbing the place, and wants to know what really happened. Only one bus goes to Innsmouth, and tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to be on it. Feels good to have a purpose after five months trying to break through my amnesia. I also feel a little apprehensive, but I don't understand those feelings. Maybe it's just the wild stories about the town, or maybe it's because I haven't had a case in so long. Thanks, Jack. Anytime. Morphine! We like morphine. It's cool, though, because I had forgotten what it actually did. I just hit it up periodically when I got shot. <laughs> Although movement speed reductions and arm waving does suck. So... Sorry if it's all crackly. I'm fixing my headset. I hate getting sweaty ears. It feels weird. February 7th, 1922. Driver, how far did it stop? Roll both there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. This Why is the case. Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. Yeah, but what about train? Play. Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after a road. <laughs> Sounds like Weeble and Bob. Yeah, Bob. You had any pay, I like Weeble and Bob. I haven't watched it in a while. That's a statue with no head. Charming place. This is it, stranger. End of the line. Gee, thanks. Time to start detecting. All right, bus. Tell me. God, you're ugly. 
Dear Lord, is that your face? Could you direct me to the First National Grocery Store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, Bella. So, you live here, but you don't buy groceries. chit chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. I'm on to you. God, you're ugly. Tell me what you know, bus. Uh-huh. Really? Oh. We'll talk more later. You're still ugly. How is this? Another creepy eyeball symbol. Someone mentioned something about game crashing bugs, and I looked up a bit about it. Um, it said going back to an older save and reloading, and I I'm I'm okay with that. And if it gets really bad, I'll, I'll look open. for other ways around it. But I made it reasonably far and never came across anything. Hey, uh, you got to play Jack the part, Walters. Jack. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All we'll habits cleaning rooms at present. You run Gilman's the hotel. From out of town can leave a horrid mess. How do you not know if you have any rooms? What are you looking at? Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy. So stop your pestering me with questions. No, you're not. You're just... You're looking at a piece of paper. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. Nothing about nothing, see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I still find it hard to believe he doesn't know if he has any rooms or not. He's the damn manager. I think he's feeding me a line, yeah? Say. And what no ah. God, you're ugly. I, think I like that voice better for Jack. Well, we'll see. Well, no, yeah. Outsiders coming, snooping around, but they ain't wanted. I'm right here. I hear whispering. It's early for whispering, is it not, Cthulhu? Thank you not to... The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warrens. Oh. Fair enough. He looks like he'll tell us what it's going... Up to your hand. Excuse me, Constable. He has gills. Oh, what the ropes. hell? Alien ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. I just want to buy groceries. He's got flipping gills! He isn't gonna spill with anything useful. Jack, freaking look at him! You're ugly, eh? Hey? I don't know, I still like that joke. Hello? Oh, hi. How you doing? Hi. You, do, do you mind? Do you know the Burnham lad? Do he worked here, sir. Riley says I know him. Dick. It won't budge. Oh, Creepy sounds. Ah! Damn it, don't do that. You're not white. Get out of my way. Sorry, just playing the time period. I'll avoid that if I can. really bad at this. Crouch. <sighs> Bye, stupid. It's unlocked. 
Alright, I know this part, so... Not gonna see me screw this one up, because I get tired of redoing it. And I turned off the gameplay tips, so... I might turn those back on at some point, but I find they break the immersion. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Basically, we push that over to the door because we're not supposed to be in here. And that will stall him. Ooh, a thingy. Hmm? Claw the glass marks. has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. Huh. Weird. It won't open. Okay. I should probably check and see if these are bright enough. I don't want them to be too dark. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit just to be on the safe side. Because I'm having trouble seeing some things. It won't budge. I'm having trouble, you guys are too, so. Do 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 do. Do do do. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. So there is. So there is. Hmm. I'll come back here. I am. Used to shift being run. Hmm. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. Can't tell what's down there. Not a lot in here. Oops, maybe it's already been looted. The drawer is empty. No, no keep that open. So it is. Oh. Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Mm. Nothing well, of interest. Let's go see what's down here then. Whoa! Uh oh. Run away! Quick! Scurry! Scurry, Timothy! Scurry! Seriously? <gasps> ah, there we go. Do a little jig on top of the ladder. <laughs> Goodness. You suck! Meh. Who needs him? The ladders and stairs have collapsed. I'll never get back up. Never? Well, at least we have lots of flour to eat. We can spit in it and make bread. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Up. No, it's not gonna do it. Nothing of interest. Well, let's read the diary then. To fix that. Options. Controller. Keys. Tab doing anything right now? No. Tab is now that. Good deal. Good deal. It'll make life a lot easier. Hmm. Arkham Advertiser. Grocery store robbed. Manager missing. Thieves have robbed the first national grocery store in Innsmouth, breaking down the door and forcing open the cash register. Newly appointed manager Brian Burnham has been missing since shortly before the robbery. Very disturbing turn of events, said Arthur Anderson, the regional manager. This bank had only recently opened, and First National Grocery had high hopes for its success. Given the general lack of modern stores and amenities in Innsmouth, the robbery is a definite setback, and more worrying still the fact that the branch manager remains unaccounted for. Innsmouth authorities could not be herped the derp. It's because they suck. Well, I agree with the locals about one thing. I shouldn't be stuck in this miserable excuse for a town. I can see why nobody comes here, that's for sure. Another slow day at the store. At first, I thought people were staying away because First National isn't local, but I haven't seen anyone going to any other stores either. Come to that, I haven't seen any other stores open for business. This place is deader than dead. Mouse. Yoo-hoo! Come on, Mouse. I don't know why it lags out so bad on 